as long as mind is not enlightened. There is always a difference between the inner world, the outer world. Inner world refers to how you feel with your mind. <laughs> what are your dreams? What you are striving for? How do you find yourself in relation to others? Your day-to-day -day situations, all is your inner world, which others don't see it. When they will start talking, they believe it. <laughs> And the outer world, the outer world is a world that is recognized by all humanity. And according to scientific advancement, you go on at understanding the outer world more and more in a different... Once upon a time people looked at the sky and the sky was just a blanket with wonderful twinkle, twinkle stars. Now with scientific vision we look at it and see vastness, immensity. And we become more involved with astral studies, then people become so amazed when a certain planet appears like Mars, and calculations say you will see the same Mars 50,000 years later. <laughs> it's going on at the present. <laughs> From a spiritual point of view, it is childish. Every day you look up to the stars, the same situation will not come. <laughs> but it makes no difference. As long as you understand the immensity of the world is an expression of God. The outer world is immense. The inner world is boundless. But both are veiled by Maya. So when you are looking at the outer world, you are limited by your senses, limited by your, your ability to study things, because intellect does not have intuitive capacity. And when you look within yourself, you are limited, limited by your own ego identity. Tulsidas says, Ram Nam Mani Deep Dharu Jih Dehari Dwar Tulsi Andar Bahar Hu Jo Chahasi Ujiyar Put the name of Rama on your tips on the thing that are the tips of the tongue. It is the threshold between the outer world and the inner world. So just like you put a lamp at the threshold, it illumines inside, it illumines outside. At least that was the old setup. <laughs> <laughs> so if you started enjoying repetition of divine name, it goes on improving your understanding of yourself. The inner world begins to clear up. You begin to understand what ego views as adversity, it is not that. There is a meaning behind it. A greater thrill is waiting. <laughs> and similarly, ego's evaluation of things, you begin to transcend as you begin to look within by the light of divine name. And it goes on until you discover you are Brahman. You are one with God. Outer world, you begin to see the divine hand fashioning the world and all its situations, all circumstances. Not a single a mango ripens without his will. <laughs> And not a single coconut falls on the head <laughs> without a karmic reason behind it. 
So the more you become involved with japa, reflecting upon God's presence within you, and the Vedantic study that all is Brahman, the Absolute. There is no internal and external. If you enter into dream, during dream experience there is the internal and external. You may be in a house, seated on a chair, and you see a snake coming up to you. So, your perception is the snake is coming internal, inside. It was outside, now it is coming inside. Now my plan is to throw it away, outside. There is internal and external. And there is time sequence. When you wake up, your consciousness was enfolding all. Just like a mirror enfolds reflections without undergoing any change. Your consciousness enfolded your entire dream world. Due to ignorance, you didn't recognize it. You found yourself struggling, limited. You wake up, the entire dream world vanishes. In the same way, if you attain enlightenment, this whole world experience is like a dream world. Your awareness of yourself undergoes terrible change. You are no longer an individual personality. You are the Absolute Self. Non-dual Brahman, Ahamasmi, Aham Brahmasmi. I am Brahman. The world is no longer Prapancha. Prapancha that puts you into mud. Prapancha means fivefold. Existence, knowledge, bliss, name and form. The world is always Brahman, but veiled by the magic of names and forms. And your mind cannot break that magic until it is touched by divine presence, devotion, wisdom. Therefore, the task before an aspirant is to discover God within one's heart. To discover you are a ray of God. <coughs> Therefore you are one with God. That's the language of bhavana, feeling. The language of reasoning, intellect, that Brahman alone is. Advaita, absolute, non-dual Brahman. There's nothing else. 